I fully understand that there's fluidity in these placings. I know how it works, but the simple fact is, if you're better than someone in one class, you're gonna be better than them in the next class as well. She got absolutely hosed by the judges there, pure and simple. Hey gang, and welcome. You know, as the competitive season starts to wind down, some of these shows, to me, feel like they kind of run together. You start to see some of the same faces at multiple shows, and it always makes me think, how exhausting must it be to do multiple pro shows in rapid succession if I get tired just watching them? <laughs> so here today, we're checking out the Florida Pro from September 7th in Sarasota, Florida, specifically the figure category. We're checking out Masters 50 plus, 40 plus, 35 plus, and open in that order. In this video, I had to turn the house music way down to avoid copyright claims. It's a bit long because of the four separate categories, so use the timestamps below to skip around as you see fit. Real quick, also, don't forget to check out my online courses at darrenstar.com. Think you know everything you need to know about nutrition? Eh, macro boot camp might prove you wrong. Lots to check out there. Okay, on to the commentary, and then we'll recap and have some final thoughts at the end. Let's hit it. Masters 50 plus. Shea Wagon, she's at number 70. Okay, cool. So we're starting with Masters 50 plus, then we're gonna move to Masters 40 plus, then 35 plus, then open. So who do we have? Who do we have here? Just doing some individuals first rather than groups, and then we'll see call outs from there. It's hard to make determinations. Like I don't wanna say anything about her in a vacuum until I see everybody else. Like she looks super sharp. I don't know how everybody else is gonna show up though. Magali Albino, she said, what, number 72? So they're in just some weird random order, I guess, okay. Can really see a lot about women in the figure division when they turn around to the back pose, you can see the glutes, like she's got some crazy calves going on too. Um, like if you can bring the condition in the back pose, she's got great shape from the front, really good upper body development, good shoulders, good lats. Again, just remember, 50 plus. If you want to save some time, just bring everybody up and just have them hit a back pose, see what their conditioning's like, and you can make a lot of determinations just based on that. She's a little softer from behind. Overall development's great, though. Carry okay, so like 76. So we're kind of bouncing all around through the competitor list that I have here. I don't know if this is not in any particular order or if there are a bunch of scratches or what. I would have her pose a little bit differently. Her foot positioning, I think. Um... Yeah, she's a little unstable there. I don't know if that's fatigue, if that's nerves or what, um, but I'm gonna wanna see a lot of that, a lot of that instability and in posing worked out at the pro level. Like at this point, you should be so comfortable in heels. 77, okay. Yeah, they're just in no particular order here. Yeah, her development's really good. Her sharpness is really good. You can see like her delt tie-ins are really tight. Um, quad separation is really good and impressive. Now from the back side, her legs look a lot smaller from behind. Like she doesn't have a lot of quad sweep um, visible from behind. Their condition, her, le her legs are a little, now she has got a really compact, dense looking package. You can tell before she even hits that first pose. I would go right into the box immediately. You've only got so much time up there. Really good, really sharp, really balanced. Good color, good presentation overall from behind. Conditioning looks great. Overall shape there is kind of like textbook figure presentation. So super conditioned. A little unstable overall. Development looks good, like definitely a little on the taller side from behind. Posing just looks a little um, less polished, I guess you could say. So we do have everybody. So here's Tammy. It's funny, like her quads are really, really separated. Her midsection looks super washed out and flat though. From behind, we'll tell more. She looks pretty damn conditioned really. It's just her midsection was just kind of lacking definition, which just could be a little bit of fluid retention. I don't know if her, yeah, you can see there, just the stomach's a little, a little soft, but the legs aren't, which is kind of weird. So that's your eight for Masters Figure Plus, 50 plus. Okay, they're just, okay, no, no call out. They're just doing everybody all at once. 78, 77, yep. Yeah, so 
78, that's Rosa. Yep, I agree with that. I think center right and next to her should probably switch places. 76, who's that? Kari Soleil? Her posing's a little weird. Yeah, Rosa, center left here. I think she's got this. Um, I think, uh, who was that? That one. <laughs> We'll, we'll see the number she turns back around. I kind of like her for a second. That's what I was talking about. That's what, 72, who is that? Uh, Magali Albino. So yeah, those that's your one and two, I think. Kristen Booth is 77, um, one off to the left from there. I do like her for third. Fourth now. Like, I see there's, there's going to be a little bit of a drop from third to fourth here. Um going by how I how I have it. Um, Kari, who is currently, I think, in the fourth position there in the green. Okay, yeah, I think that's fair. I think 76, 72, 77, 1, 2, 3. And from there, it's it's a bit of a drop to number four. Is that Kari? 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 Um, could it possibly be Paloma, second in from the left? Possibly. One, two, and three are pretty easy to tell. Although, who is that again? Magali? Center right? She's she's coming in strong, especially on that back pose there. I kind of like Rosa's shape overall a little better. I don't know. I don't really see that coming. I don't know that I agree with that. Basically taking uh, Kristen at 77 down a spot there. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think she was pretty clearly third in that group. Again, it's all perspective. Who knows? 40 plus. So there are 10 here. So now we are going to do group comparisons. Okay. So I think they're, I don't know if they're just randomly selecting people now or what. I recognize a couple of people here. You know, a couple we've seen. Magali far left, that was Shea Weigand, center left. Adrian Matthews, uh, we have not seen yet, but she is center right. She's done a couple of shows recently. So here, I guess, because it was just eight before, they can put them all in one call out, I guess, which is what they did. Here, because there's ten, they're going to do multiple call outs. So we're seeing the groups first, and then we'll see individual presentations like we did before, and then we'll do call outs. So we've got six here, so there's going to be a group of four that come out after this, I guess. We've got five in here. Did I just count wrong, maybe? No, there's ten, but we've got eleven, so we've got an addition here beyond what's in the uh, competitor list. They need to ditch this split camera angle here because I can't really see much of anything from this. Kristen Booth is in here. She was not in, uh, not on the competitor list for this class. That's what it is. Now we'll see individuals for those we have not seen on stage yet. Brick of Broadwater, slow walking it to center stage. A little soft compared to what we've seen before. Still a really good overall presentation. Good shoulders. Yeah, just, just conditioning is just a little off. Not quite there for today. Marie Salon Gesso, Cameroon. She had, um, in that uh, call-out that we saw, or in that uh, um, individual no, group comparison that we saw, um, crazy front pose. Like, check this out when she hits it here. Boom. Like, lats, delts, waist, quads, like... Her conditioning's a little soft, but she might win this thing on shape alone. Like, that's insane. Super impressive. I don't know what she looks like from behind. Yeah, the shape is still ridiculous from behind. She's just, man, it's hard because she's just a little soft, but she's got, like, by a mile, like, the best V taper on stage. Could be enough. Adrienne Matthews just has a really good overall shape and structure. Nothing really blows you away, but it's just so solid top to bottom. She's got really good conditioning as well. Really good presentation. Color is great. 
Yeah, that, that's just, again, nothing on that pose really blows you away, but you're also like, man, there isn't really a, any kind of a problem with that. Like nothing's lacking. It's just nothing is really like, oh my God, that's so 3D. Nyria right. Yeah, she's, uh, she's got a good shape. She's a little undersized. She has good conditioning, but at the same time, I think um, the judges are probably going to want to see something a little bit sharper, unless, uh, like, uh, Marie Solange, who was out there earlier, um, like, her shape is just so extraordinary. Like, she might be able to overcome that. Nyria here um, doesn't have the shape to make up for conditioning being just a little bit off. Jessica Rodriguez is, uh, I mean, she looks maybe a little, uh, little overglazed, possibly, which, you know, isn't a huge problem until you see her in a lineup with others, and then it, that kind of makes her stand out a little bit. Um, look at her glute shape and conditioning there, though, really good. Um, her overall development is a little on the smaller side, but, like, delts are really nice and round. Paraguay. Personally, if I was doing one of these routines, I would rush to the box. Like, I don't know what she's doing way at the back of the stage. It's like, you only got so much time. Like, what are you doing? Get, get up there. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're getting rid of her before she even hits the box. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Hurry it up. All right. Filling out everybody else's numbers here. Like, you're done, girl. Get off the stage. You don't have that long. What is she doing? Get off the stage. <laughs> Marie Solange, Adrienne, Magali, Jessica, Laura, Kari. This will be interesting to see what they do here. Um, so Marie Solange on the far right, I would not expect, I would not be surprised if we see her move very, very close to the center. We've got six, so your top two are going to split the box there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They like the shape. They're not they're not put off by her being a little bit softer. And again, it's a little bit softer. It's not like she's super off or anything like that. She's just, you know, compare her to 75. Um, who is that? Uh, Laura Sacamani right next to her. Like, Laura's definitely tighter. You can see it. Okay. And they, they like Laura there. Okay. There's early indications. You know, I was harping on Laura for taking too long, but she does have a great physique. I mean, Marie Solange has just got such a crazy shape compared to everybody else. The thing is, like, for a top-level pro show... Oh, really? Adrian to the outside? I don't know about that. No, I, I disagree with that. I disagree with that. Marie Solange, for a top-level pro show, realistically, if you want to bring the kind of conditioning that will be undeniable... She's probably about six weeks out right now. And guess what? We're about six weeks out from the Olympia. So if she gets that qualification, <laughs> that might work really well in her favor. Like, that that's when, you know, I think she would be about at her peak. That's it. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Shay in the center there, when she was off to the stage, rewinded a few seconds and look at the facial expression that she had. It was one of those, like... <laughs> Pretty funny. Why? I rail about this in every video I do. This whole position switching thing gets ridiculous at times. So that's Masters 40 plus. Now we're going to do Masters 35 plus, which only has three new people in it and eight total. Going to announce anybody? I don't know who this is, but it's either Tammy, Amanda, or Sherazada. Who oh, I'm sure I just mangled her name. I'm sorry. Sherazada, possibly. Are they going to give us any indication as to who these people are? Or is the uh, PA announcer just uh, taking a smoke break? She has got a great physique. She's conditioned. Like, I want to see her next to everybody else, but that's very, very good. 
really good. From behind, she doesn't blow me away as much, but it's still really solid. From the front, she's got some wow factor, though. Okay, it'd be nice if they told us who these people were. So they're just going to be numbers from now on, sorry. Her color is way off. Like, off to the point of being distracting. Yeah, her physique is good. Her conditioning is okay. Um, but her color, I mean, it looks like she missed the tanning booth. Um, <laughs> it's... It's just not dark enough. Not even close to being dark enough. To the point, again, where it's a little distracting. Now, we're, I guess we're going to do a call out for eight, even though we didn't for Master's Figure Plus, which was also eight. No, we're just, there's nine, actually. Who's the addition here? Who is it? 71? No. 74? 74. Jessica Rodriguez is the addition here. So we have nine. Okay. Yep. So yeah, so Marie Solange, they really like her. And they are dogging on Adrian Matthews here. Um, I think, uh, shh. Oh, I'm moving her way to the outside. There we go. Yep. Um, 67 is going to get moved, and she's probably going to swap with 68. This is weird. 68's got to go somewhere. <laughs> that ain't right. That ain't right. Let's make a move. 67 and 68 trade places. 67 is center left. You can't tell me she's second or third in this group. She is the smallest competitor on stage. Those are your positions for like fourth and fifth, and now you just switch them to fifth and fourth. Who gives a shit? Um, 68 and 67, switch. <laughs> Come on. It's pretty clear that needs to happen. <sighs> They're just going to dismiss him now? One thing that we've seen um, a lot so far today, you know, I've, I've watched uh, Masters Bodybuilding, Classic Physique, Men's Physique so far in this show. Um, and the judges will make their moves and move people around, etc. And then when you think they're done, they'll make one more move and then not call out any more poses and then dismiss people. I wonder if they're going to do that again here. Nope, that's it. Weird. Weird. A lot of things I don't agree with there. Yeah, so there's... Push it on 20 here in figure open. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen. I got 19 here apparently. So we're gonna start off with the ones that we've seen before. One scratch, okay. Adrian is 66. Getting all my numbers squared away here so I know who's who. I think the judges might be doing the same right now, actually. <laughs> so, so far we've seen Marie Solange in Masters 35+, plus, Masters 40+, plus, and I think she's dominated both of those. Now it's going to be like, okay, how does she stack up to everyone else that we're going to see here? And we've only got, I think, one, two, three, like six new faces that we'll see here. Um, yeah, uh, video of the judging panel is not what I need right now. There's one competitor here in particular that I think is going to blow everyone else away. We'll depend. We'll see if anybody else kind of matches her. Um, but she was at Rising Phoenix uh, two weeks ago, and she was second there. So we have seven left after this, I think, or. Six, maybe. If they said 18, we had a scratch. Yeah, Kristen and Laura, the two to the right here. Really impressive. And who is that again? 72 is Magali Albino, center right. It's really sharp, too. Okay, our final six. Yeah, see if you can see one of these things is not like the other. Yeah. <laughs> 
So center right there is Manon Dutilly. She was second in uh, Rising Phoenix um, to Jessica Reyes Padilla. Um, and really, I mean, she's just so much bigger than everybody else. <laughs> I, mean, she, I, I think she's going to be going to women's physique after this, which she needs to realistically. Like, I mean, I think she's got an amazing physique. I don't think that she should be placing high in figure because she's just too big for figure, realistically. I mean, way too big. Um, and at some point, the judges have to be like, yeah, that's not what we're looking for. Like, you look ridiculous, you look awesome, but it's just not what we want to see. Right? And she's outmassing everybody. Whoever's on the far left over there is uh, really bringing it as well. But she's angled funny, so you can't really see her well here. If they'd switch to the other camera angle, you could see it. So we have five new ones. Chenier Matisse D's. Okay. What number is Chenier? I gotta get my uh, get my data updated here. <laughs> That's a really good shape. It's really good shape. It, it's hard when you spread out your lats to really like keep the density and the thickness there. Um, that's something that most competitors will have diminish a little bit. So if you can see that hanging around when you go from, you know, kind of like, okay, here I am in the back and then here I am flaring things out. If you can keep that thickness up there, that's super impressive. Yeah, I mean, she looks ridiculous from every angle, but if I were her, I'd be hitting the back pose first too because I think that's where she stands out from everybody else the most. And so if it's a contest to see like, hey, who can have the craziest physique on stage? She wins hands down because she has size while still being balanced and still having symmetry and she's got great conditioning as well. Like she's got, got everything. The question that you have to ask yourself is, is this too much for figure? And I think if you go by the written guidelines, the answer is yes. Um, she's clearly more suited for physique. Like she could hop on stage in physique right now and be competitive. Like that's that's not figure to me. Again, I'm <laughs> I'm giving her some shade in the most positive way possible. Like she's just too much for this category. Camila Lira. Yeah, legs are really sharp. Um, upper body is uh, maybe a little undersized relative to the legs. I'm curious to see how well her back holds up when she turns around also. Because um, I think like she's got wide clavicles that's going for. The question is how dense is she going to look from behind? That's not bad. That's not bad. That's really good, actually. It's really good. Um, the thing is, like, following someone like Manon, it's like, eh, okay, yeah, she looks small. But I think she probably looks more like what's ideal. Yeah, she is great. Um, like, I think if, you know, if Manon wins this show, which I don't think she should, but she probably will, um, like... It's a question for who's going to be second and third. And she is in that discussion. Um, she looks awesome. Really good. The dog off stage right did not like that feedback. Okay, so Jasmine Perez from Texas is a scratch. Uh, Karen here was one that I saw. She was off to the far left of that final group. And I said, like, she looks pretty crazy too. So I, I kind of want to see a better look at her now that she's squared up to everyone here. That is awesome. Like, that is, like... The, you know, if, if you know sports, you know, Jerry West is the silhouette of the logo for the NBA. Like that silhouette should be the logo for figure. Like that's what you want it to be. Um, that front pose was awesome. From behind. And you know, the silhouette's part of it. That's your shape, your symmetry, your size and your balance, but it's not your conditioning. Um, her conditioning from the front is excellent. From behind, she was a little softer. First call out for sure. Yeah, I think 82, 84, 85 for sure. They'll probably have Marie Solange in that mix as well. Wouldn't surprise me if we see Rosa in there as well. Um, am I getting that right? Yeah, Rosa Mas Delgado, 78. She was um, from 50 plus and we haven't seen her since then. It wouldn't surprise me if she gets a first call out in the open here too. Let's see who they put. 
Okay, so they got Camilla Lira in there as well. The others I had. 65 is Marie Solange. 75 is Laura Sacamani. Interesting. 78. We're going to get a seventh up there, or is that it? I don't have a problem with Laura, actually. I think that's, that's a good call, too. Yeah, so it's Manon first, and it's going to be Marie Solange second. Um, I don't know that I agree with that. I think Marie Solange is great. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Yeah, that's tough. That's a tough call. At this point, for the open, for the open, honestly, I think this is where, if I was on the judging panel, I'd take Marie Solange and be like, okay, now we're going to start docking you a little bit for your conditioning. And now you're going to be like third, fourth. Instead, they've got her in, you know, ostensibly second, I would assume. Although you look at her here and like, she's got <laughs> Manon beat on shape on that back pose too, um, which is pretty insane. I just don't think you could have her win in this show just because her, her conditioning is a little off. Her shape is just so nuts, though. Crazy. Interesting. Based on my own personal opinion, I don't disagree with that. I'm surprised to see the judges agreeing with me, though, because they usually don't. Her conditioning also, Manon, her conditioning isn't quite what it was, what we've seen before. She looks maybe just a little softer than what we've seen, just you know, a couple percentage points compared to Arizona. This camera angle ain't doing nothing for me, guys. Neither is this one. One thing you got to respect about someone like Manon, when, um, when the expediter was on stage moving people around a little bit and wanted her to take just a small step to the right. Like she stayed in character while doing it and didn't go like, Oh, what, what shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. No, it's like she kept in her posing vocabulary even for that, which is, you know, it's very hard to just stay in that character. Cause that's what you're doing realistically is you're staying in character the whole time you're in stage. Yeah. 84 is Elizabeth Nieder. If she won this show, it wouldn't be a massive upset. Um, I mean, it would, but like it would be, you know, kind of earned here. Who up here on stage doesn't look like they're trying? Like, who looks the most effortless? That's another thing to consider because that just shows to like your posing practice and how conditioned you are with your posing. Some of them are starting to look a little tired, breathing heavy, smiles are looking a little strained. And some of them, like, um, again, you look at Manon, it looks like she could stay up there all day. <laughs> Doesn't look like she's trying at all. Yeah, they're going to bring a few back after the second and third callouts. So we ditched all the six. Uh, usually between first and second callouts here at this show, they've been letting a few people go and keep the remaining up and compact them together and then bring a few into that mix for the second call out. Weird that they're doing seven here and then five in the next group for some reason. Quick side note to whoever is producing this show, we don't want to see the judging panel. <laughs> I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. I don't know. They've got Amanda McCrossy coming into the center. Um, she was really favored in that 35 plus class as well. I'm not sure what they're seeing in her. Um, like she, this is where I come across sounding like an asshole. Uh, there's nothing about her physique that really stands out to me or says like, yeah, absolutely. In this group, it's like, I don't see it. I don't see her taking this second call out. There are four physiques in this group that I think have her beat. I don't want to just continue to shit on her because I'm sure she's nice and her physique is fine. Right. But like that front pose, she's not even hitting it symmetrically. Like her left shoulder is dropped compared to her right. Um, 
Now we'll see the final five here. Battlestar Galactica reference for those playing at home. Anybody get that? Did anybody watching this video get that reference? I doubt it. You should. You should watch that show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Shanir, um, they're 81 in the center now. She was only one in the, uh, just in the open group that uh, is in this call out. And her, her conditioning's a little off, but her shape is fantastic. And honestly, I'd rather have that be a criticism for me, uh, just because your shape is much harder to change than your conditioning. Your conditioning you know, just died a little harder, right? That's Megan um, on the center left there. Like, she's got a really, really impressive upper body. Um, what is with all the moving around here? Like, just settle on a position. Um, she's got a little bit of a leg imbalance. Her right leg's a little smaller than her left, but she's, she's got a really, really impressive upper body, and her legs aren't bad at all. Yeah, they're moving them quick here. Judges are like, we got to go to the bathroom. And now they wave everybody off, and they're done. So final call out here. We'll see probably our top four, maybe? Top three. Okay. So here's where they tip a hand, because you've got three. It's an odd number. Somebody's going to be in the box. That's going to be who the favorite is, probably. Some pretty pretty different physiques up here, right? Marie Solange, a little softer. Elizabeth to the right, a little more cut. Manon, a little bigger. So this comes down to preference. Like, depending on the judging panel, I think any three of these could win, realistically. There is no way if uh, somebody came out with this music as their, uh, as their posing routine music that they would let that person go on stage. Like, they want, they want it to be family-friendly. This is not a family-friendly song. I don't know who snuck this into the playlist. That's it. Okay. No, no position switching at all. Interesting. We'll see what happens. I'm curious to see. I mean, there's honestly a little bit of suspense for me there because I don't know that they really tip their hand too much there. All right. Lots to dive into here. And let's start with Masters 50 plus. No shock here as Rosa Mas Delgado took home the top spot, which was well-deserved. She had a really nice, dense, full package and everything just fit really nicely on her frame. Masters 40 plus and 35 plus were both taken by Marie Solange Esso. As I said in the commentary, I think she was a little bit soft, um, but her overall development, shape, and structure were just absolutely crazy, and that was easily good enough to take both of those classes. In the open class, I said that if Elizabeth Nieder won the whole show, it wouldn't shock me, and that's exactly what she did, so congrats to her. Uh, I think that Marie Solange in second and Manon Dutely in third both had more shock and awe to their physique in terms of shape, size, and conditioning, but Elizabeth was able to bring everything in at the level the judges wanted and balance all of those elements accordingly. She is now Olympia qualified, and again, a huge congrats to her. Okay, now, let's talk about some fucked up shit. Rosa Mas Delgado took first in Masters 50+, plus. Magali Albino, second, Shea Wigan, fourth. In the open class, Rosa dropped all the way down to 13th, which I thought was a huge mistake. Magali jumped ahead of her to 12th, and Shea rose all the way up to 8th. So you're telling me that in the span of 25 minutes, she went from three spots below Rosa in one class to four spots above her in another I would like to get an explanation on that from someone. Now, I fully understand that there's fluidity in these placings. I know how it works, but the simple fact is, if you're better than someone in one class, you're gonna be better than them in the next class as well. The context of who's on stage and the passing of 25 minutes off the clock does not change that much. As for Rosa Mas Delgado, she got absolutely hosed by the judges there, pure and simple. 